Just gonna take my pulse, make sure I'm still doing good. Hey friends, happy Monday after Christmas. You're still here, you're still with me. And uh, I hope you continue to celebrate Christmas through this week for days to come. In the Christian calendar of worship, this is called Christmas Tide. Uh, several weeks where we continue to celebrate Christmas right up to the day of Epiphany. And I think that's a great idea. The celebration of Christ's birth is far too big for one day. In fact, it affects our life. So uh, let me just stop and ask, how many of you got Fitbits for Christmas? Yeah, how many of you have already been out test walking? <laughs> Way to go. I absolutely believe God wants us to be good stewards of our health and life. And that's what I want to comment about on this Monday. Uh, recently, my phone was upgraded, and now it's not counting my steps. And, uh, and I've been insulted by it. I've gone on some exercise walks, and I have a zero for the day. No steps being counted. So my phone and I are having a bit of a... Uh, uh, we're not getting along these days. Those are my steps. That's my life. But is it? I remember being excited as a kid when someone showed me how to put my fingertips right on my wrist and I could feel the pulse of my heart pushing blood through my body. And with the rise of Fitbits and our awareness of our health, such a good thing, we can begin to think this is my life. Those are my steps. This is my body. And we could miss the bigger picture that Christmas teaches us, that God's Son was born with a pulse so that we could be claimed, redeemed as God's forgiven, loved children to have life in him. In our schedule of scripture readings for today, uh, in the New Testament, we are directed to 1 John chapter 5. And I love these letters of John. It's simple language and it's simple and direct words. Listen to these verses from 1 John 5. This is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. It's the Monday after Christmas, and I hope you're finding ways to relax, catch up, but also pray, reflect, and continue to practice the stewardship of your faith, your life with God, your life with Jesus. God created you. He put the pulse in your arteries and veins. He put the breath in your lungs. And even beyond that, he gave us this baby, this Christ child, who would grow up to give us life now and eternal in his name and spirit. Walk with Jesus today. Find your life through faith in Jesus Christ. It's like being born again.